Welcome back, everyone. Our next guest stars alongside Candace Cameron Bure in the magical new Hallmark Christmas movie, A Shoe Addict's Christmas. Please welcome Luke McFarlane. Welcome, Luke. Hello. Hello. Let me just say there's a lot of people around this house excited about this movie, including <laughs> Something about saying shoe addicts Christmas and everybody, Every single girl everybody in tunes in. Everybody's <laughs> like, what's it about? Where are we going? And I'll tell you what's it's about. a good it's, one. It's kind of a combination between uh, a Christmas carol and it's a wonderful life, right? Yeah. With there's a lot of magic and angels and time travel. Oh. Help us help us understand how it all comes together. Well, but you just said it exactly it. Uh, the shoe is kind of a, a bit of a teleportation device. Oh, um, and she loves, the character loves shoes. She works at this beautiful department store. But the shoe kind of takes her through time and gives her a chance to look back at some things that happened in her past uh, with the help of her fairy godmother, played by the amazing Jean Smart. Oh, wow. Uh, how great was that to have Jean on set? Incredible. Just incredible. I mean, she's a legend. She is a legend. She's funny, she's warm, she's charming, and just a fine, fine, fine actor. And I understand the first time you actually encountered her, she was crouching behind a tree. Was she trying to scare you? Uh, no, <laughs> no, no. But thank you for asking. It was, yeah, no. Um, I was very aware that she was there. It was the scene. Uh, my character didn't necessarily see her as much as Candace's Cameron. Uh, Candace's character saw her. So uh, she kind of hides about and kind of does her magic stuff, uh, magic and angel work to make sure that we end up together. So she was hiding behind the tree. And I know that another time, which was so magical and very Hallmark-esque and actually wasn't part of the set, yes. when she rode in on a carriage, it literally started to snow. This was not set dressing. This is true. And as I'm sure you've heard many actors talk about, snow and making snow is a big part of these movies. But we did have the pleasure of actual, honest to goodness, real snow. Oh, Isn't man, that amazing? That, yeah, it was amazing. It was such a treat. And there it is, right there. Yeah. That is such a treat. You can tell, too, the way it's moving sideways. That's yeah. real. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That is the first time that you worked with Candace Cameron Bure, yes. an um, amazing actress, as yes. we all know. But you were very surprised on set. Or I guess it just kind of took to you a little bit, the fact how multitasking she was, how busy she was. Well, it's true. I mean, as they say often on sets, it's hurry up and wait. You have a lot of time where you're kind of yes. waiting for the next shot to sure. happen. And Canvas, I've always known her to be an amazing actor and an amazing sort of uh, philanthropy, and she speaks right. about her work, but she's also an amazing mother. <laughs> she sat there and would send these messages for her kids with this app where she was sending actual voice messages. But like really personal stuff, like I've heard that one before about the homework, that one's not gonna work with me. So like she was just doing her work all the time and it really amazed me. She's a really great human being yeah. overall. Yeah. That's a I really that's, enjoy her. That's nice yeah, to hear that. Cool. Yeah. It really is. Um, well, we've got a, a clip of you and Candace working together. This is a scene where your characters are, are finally starting to warm up to each other. So let's have All right, let's take a look. Okay. So are you bringing anyone to the gala? Oh, as a matter of fact, I am. My dad, oh. we thought we should try to Switch it up a little this Christmas. Oh, that's great. It's probably better than bringing your boyfriend. Oh, I'm not seeing anyone. And if I don't get off Instagram, I may never see anyone again. What do you mean? Um, <laughs> my ex-boyfriend just got engaged. And it's been three years since we broke up, so I really shouldn't be bothered by it. Well, I don't think there's a statute of limitations on things like that. And, and what about you? Are you uh, bringing anyone to the gala? No. But, uh, maybe. I wonder what's taking that chef so long. Yeah, should we go find out? Yeah, okay. Wow. Yeah, great. What a sweet scene, though. Yeah. I, I, I mean, she I'm... sort of looked around like there was somebody else in the room, but I think it was maybe... <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Right. yeah, that was nice. It's a really mm -hmm. sweet movie, and yeah. you know, as fun as it is with the shoes, it's also really heartfelt and sweet. And one of the things that struck me with this movie is how beautiful the architecture is. Not that all of our movies don't have beautiful scenery, but this right. was really exceptional, no, it really especially was. that old build, the old train station. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we filmed in Manitoba, um, and it was kind of a railroad junction city back in the day, and the department store where Candace's character works was this old uh, rail station that's no longer being used, so they transformed it into our beautiful department store. Wow. 
Yeah, I mean it's stunning. Some of the some of the architecture uh, across. Look at that so building. Beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely. And they did a, a brilliant job. I mean, as you can imagine too, these huge spaces are really hard to fill. Sure. So you got lots of Christmas trees to fill up this space. Yeah, you yeah. got to fill it in because otherwise it looks so empty. It looks empty. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sure. Now I know you're a big fan of architecture, uh, as am I, by the way, in my life, and oh, you really? are as well. Yeah. In fact, to the point where you got your own house yes. declared a is it a cultural landmark or a historic landmark? It's a culture, cultural his, cultural historical landmark. Oh, okay. both. Yes. So the, it's yeah. both. The architect is a is a fairly well known California architect uh, from uh, turn of the century. His name is Albert C. Martin, and oh, he sure. designed City Hall. Yeah. And so uh, I'm also a woodworker, and um, it was always a dream of mine to transform uh, something that was kind of broken down and old into something kind of new again. And um, you did. And I did. It was uninhabited for 30 years when I bought it. And then you redid your. Well, you did a lot of the work yourself, yeah. All of, would, most about, of it, right? I would ninety percent of it. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, plumbing. Multi-talented guy. That I know. In yeah. between movies. Uh, actually, I was filming. This is my wood shop, actually, which burned down, um, but uh, I got to rebuild it again. And the fire department saved me because they must have known that I was a woodworker because they saved my beautiful wood uh, oak wood bench. They saw the fire, they went in there, they took it out. Oh I lost God. all my tools, but I got to keep my wood bench, which oh. was a labor of love for me to build. So That's important. amazing. Yeah. Tools you can replace. Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. But things that you've actually made, exactly. that's what really matters. Yeah. Well, I think it's safe to say you probably could have a second career as a, a home builder. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe one day. Uh, I got some work I might be calling about. Oh, it's uh, hard on the back. back. I got it's some things back. I gotta work on in my house. <laughs> I'll call you a little bit later. Listen, man, congratulations Thank on the you. film. Thanks for being here today. Luke, you're a awesome. shoe addicts Christmas premieres uh, this Sunday at 8, 7 central right here on Hallmark Channel.